is NCAA Tournament MVP. And there's a look at that confirmed lineup. And the Libero is uh, Eric Shoji, who is closing in on that 200 cap mark for his country. Cap number 195 here today. Coming in for Brazil. Isaac Santos gets a start, so too Fernando as the setter, wearing the number six. Wallace, the big hitter, as we've talked about already. The number 14 is Douglas Souza, a 23-year-old wing spiker. The number 16, Lucas Sackcamp, is the captain. A big middle blocker, and number 18, Ricardo Lucarelli, whose club side, Funvic Taubaté, were recently crowned Brazilian champions for the first ever time. of that starting six and the libero is the number four Thales Hoss who is playing for his country for the first time at a major world level event the USA led by coach John Spurrell head coach since 2013, leading the team to gold at the 2014 World League and bronze at the 2016 Olympics. And the Brazilian head coach today is Marcelo Francoviat, who's taken over from Renan Del Zotto for this pool due to a suspension imposed on Del Zotto for something that happened at the World Championships, where he led Brazil to silver. So many stars set to shine bright. We are all set for the opening match in Pool 3 at the 2019 Volleyball Nations League. And what a way to get underway in Katowice. The top two volleyball nations in the world, two three-time Olympic gold medalists, two multiple-time world champions or World Cup winners, and two multiple-time gold medalists in the forerunner of this competition, the World League. Brazil looking for payback over the USA for defeat in last year's bronze medal match as well. And not particularly the way they would want to start with a serve straight into the net. The first US serve will be to an eager. And that one out of bounds on this near side, so the USA take the first two points. Remember, the Americans already qualified for the final six. And they can play looking ahead to that showpiece event already without the pressure that comes with qualification in the preliminary round. What a big hit that was. The captain leaving his mark and leading by example. Taylor Sander with a sizzler. And there you go, Brazil finally on the board. Stopped the rot early on. Lucas Sackcamp, their captain. Trying to haul them back into contention in the early exchanges. Also a player for Funvic Taubaté, the new Brazilian champions. A huge hit back to the back corner from Kyle Enzing. They're set all the way across to the far side and Enzing with pinpoint precision. Brazil looking to answer back across court. Didn't find a piece of the line, though. And they haven't settled yet, the Brazilians. Douglas Souza off the mark. The USA have won five of the first six points. Sander to serve.
Plenty of power behind it as well. Recovered by Fernando. And off the fingertips of an American blocker for a Brazilian point for Wallace. That season's Nations League top scorer is up and running. Found a way to fire past the triple block. A huge pipe hit from Douglas right down the centre. He had one off the mark a few moments ago. That one found its spot and with plenty of power behind it. The first back-to-back -back points for Brazil. Tandem attack. And that will roll over and drop for Kyle Enzi. Fake on the big hit and the roll shot over the top of the double block. Second point for Enzi. Mitchell style to serve. How about the power from Lucas? Unstoppable from the captain. The tallest player on the Brazilian roster. Two metres nine, and he elevated so high above the net to hammer it down. USA are orchestrating those tandem attacks so well, so effectively early on here as they take a three-point lead again to an eager getting all of his hitters involved <laughs> Brazil outs are back with a task first score Snapshot catches Brazil off guard from Jeffrey Jendrick. The USA reached the first technical timeout of the first match here in Poland with a three point lead, eight to five. Petition and uh, win it on home soil in Chicago in July. And, uh, what a way to test themselves in the opening match of uh, what for them is just a run of fixtures to get ready for that big event in Illinois. Oh, well, that's a USA point. They all stopped and waited. It looked as though the serve was out of bounds. But let's have a look. It certainly finds a spot on the baseline from DeFalco. And there's another one just beyond the baseline in the same spot this time. Ricardo Lucarelli to serve for Brazil. The third biggest spike and block reaches on the Brazilian roster. 
plenty of elevation to deliver the serve, but it comes right back at Brazil with interest from Enzig. He's been superb from the start, Kyle Enzig, his third point already. Off the fingertips of the blockers, the hit from Douglas. Brazil just uh, trying to make sure the USA can't open up any significant breathing room in this opening set. Beyond the backcourt covering defence from Jeffrey Jendrick. A quick hit again. Didn't quite catch the sideline, though. Mitchell Stahl. It's going to be a Brazilian point to close the gap to two. Isaac Santos will remain on serve. 108 points for him in this competition last year. Brazil's third top scorer. And that one out of the reach of Isaac in the backcourt. His run on serve will come to an end. To an eager, the American setter to serve next. Oh, to the baseline, just beyond it though. To an eager, he's looking around perhaps for a little help. He believes it caught the baseline. And they may well get that help from the video technology. The USA are challenging the call. Let's have a look. Did this find a piece of the baseline or not? To an eager thought so. The official thought no. And the official was right. Looks can be deceiving with the pace that the balls get hit at. I thought it might have been in. In truth, wasn't even close. And that one was certainly in, no doubts about it, from DeFalco. That's three points for him already. Looking to take on the extra responsibility on this John Spur or roster. The fourth top scorer for the USA last year, the top three scorers from the USA's team in the 2018 Nations League not involved on this roster. <laughs> Hit down the centre, stops in the backcourt. Brazil will set this time off the fingertips of the blockers, was it? Yes, it was. Lucarelli with another score. And Brazil back within touching distance for the first time in a long time. You get the sense that coach Marcelo Frankoviak's team have just been clinging in. And now they're making their move. To an eager setting right on top of the net. Very difficult to stop. The reception of the serve was perfect to help it back to To an eager who was stood with his shoulder almost touching the net. Couldn't have been in a more perfect position. an example of how a serve reception can go wrong that time instead of putting it right on top of the net it was over the top of the net and a gift for the USA and Enzing tuck it for his fourth point more than anyone else on court so far
tem que ser um pouquinho mais agressivo. A partir do momento que a gente foi um pouquinho mais agressivo no saque, a gente está tocando, fazendo contra-ataque. Joga mais solto, galera. Entra no jogo. Vamos, vamos. vamos. Vai, 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 vai. Bora. I think Brazil have only ever failed to reach the podium in two of their last 12 appearances at world-level major competitions. And one of those was this tournament last year. The team that denied them the podium finish was the USA. They will be desperate for payback here. At the moment, the USA are passing the test again. It was a huge hit from the far side from Wallace, his third point. And for the drop serve, and it was really well recovered by the Libro, Tales. That provided the foundation for that Brazilian point. To an eager's back set. And squeezed down the line by Kyle Enzing, who's on fire. Five for the number five early on. He's got a third of the USA's points. Forced it through. A Lucarelli block attempt. Precision over power. Serve is well wide of the mark down the line, though, from Enzing. His red top run comes to an end with that error. Now it's the turn of Wallace. The fourth best server in the preliminary round last year. The USA able to deal with it initially for now. They'll set again and off the block, out of bounds, a point for DeFalco. USA up by three at the second technical timeout. They are holding off the challenge of Brazil for now. The serve reception of Eric Shoji. And the USA got a couple of bites at it. First stop by Fernando. And then eventually put away. Off the set from Tuaniga. And the power from DeFalco. Clear touch off the left hand of the blocker. Brazil, the most successful nation in the predecessor to this tournament, the World League, nine gold medals. Italy just behind them with eight, and then there's a big drop-off to Russia, who've got three. And of course, won the Nations League last year as well. Both the USA and France have won two. It's the USA who have the edge as we come on to the final stretch of the first set and the opening match of this Nations League tournament for these two teams. Lucarelli. Stopped in the backcourt by Sander, but too much on it. And Brazil closed the gap to two. Lucarelli to serve. One of the less experienced players on this Brazil team. And that one got a touch. Did it off the blockers? No, it didn't. Sander hitting from the far side was just far too long. Back to back Brazilian points off the back of that technical timeout. Can they now get level? The power of Lucarelli's serve really well dealt with. Kept alive by the Libero. And Sander again. Almost the waterfall inside of the block. They're able to help it back up again. And straight into the double block of the USA, which deflects it out of bounds. And Brazil have tied level.
They're making their push at just the right time here in the first set. What a stop that was, the pancake move from Maike. The 21-year-old Libero, the youngest player in this Brazilian squad, setting them on their way to a tying point. USA calling the timeout, 16-16. Three straight Brazil points after the technical timeout. Now the USA looking to turn the tide back in their favor. Lucarelli remains on serve, looking to keep this run going. Falco did well to help it back to Tuaniga. The backcourt hit from Enzik. Brazil will come back at the USA, saved over on the far side. And that one's too long. Brazil have the lead, their fourth point without reply. Body language changing from those in American red and blue. Brazil have their chins held high right now. Again, the backcourt hit from Enzik. Not too much power on it, nor the precision. To an eager across to the far side, they get a second chance. But the Brazilian block is right back against the American player. They are riding a real wave of momentum now. They lead by two, five points in a row. Out of bounds off Sander, the double block in a good position and a timeout called by the US again. Big side out here, go back, get a reel. Go right here, okay, this guy, he passed. Couple passes, a little bit tighter than that too, okay? All right, keep your head up, keep your head up. Come on, come on, come on. One, two, three, USA. Let's go, boy. And the Americans look so cool and confident. Up until that second technical timeout, Brazil have since stolen the momentum and they're very much in the ascendancy right now. It is first to 25, by the way, if you're new to this sport. Best of five sets. If we go to a fifth and decisive set, that one is first to 15. First to 25 here in the first. Off balance, awkward backcourt hit. The USA should be able to get on top of the rally now. And it's drilled beautifully on the diagonal by Sander. Out of the reach of the Libero. Trying to get down to it in the backcourt. Maiki, who has got so well to a few already. So the USA half the deficit. To have the serve back for the first time in a while. They make a change as well. Micah Maar coming on. That's squeezed through by Brazil. There's no momentum building for the USA. They lose the serve straight away. And Brazil back ahead by two. Down the seam of the triple block, which had hardly formed at all. Serve too long, so the USA back within one again. Need to protect their serve better this time. Micah Maar, who's just come on. Young setter out of UCLA. He's next on duty on the baseline. And he fires it straight into the net. The USA can't catch a break right now. And he'll make the change right back as Maar goes to the bench and Tuaniga comes on with some new instructions, I'm sure, from his coach. Oh, 
there he is with the back set. Disguised it really well to the backcourt hitter. Brazil dealing with it really well, though. Hensing didn't quite have it where he wanted it. Nor did Brazil that time as Douglas helped it over to an eager tandem attack. Down to the feet of the Brazilian player, Fernando, and he buries it. The USA back within one. Close proximity, tandem attack. Sander on serve after that big point. Can the USA get level now? They've blown their last two serves. What's the captain got up his sleeve? Chance for Brazil to set and to finish so swiftly. Deadly from Douglas. These two teams alternating points now at the moment. Neither can win a point on their own serve. And that will only benefit Brazil, who have the two-point edge. Douglas Souza to serve. To an eager this time, putting it right on a plate for Mitchell Stahls. He went for the tandem attack, it was the first option taken though. With the on-hand set to Stahl. His turn to serve. Too long. It's four in a row for the USA now that they've not been able to get anything from. Haven't even come close to getting anything from. And Brazil are now only three points away from taking this first set. You get the feeling this is a huge point if they can open up a three-point gap here as they make a change with Flavio Gualberto coming on. Out goes Lucas, the captain. To an eager, then the big pipe hit. It was big enough to explode into the backcourt. Sanders been striking them for the most part so well. Six points for him to lead all scorers. Brazil will make another change here. There seems to be an injury concern for Fernando, the setter. Like some contact perhaps has been made with that left eye. The setters are the quarterbacks in this sport. They're the players that orchestrate the offense. Certainly needs to make sure that his vision is okay. It seems to be. Kyle Emsing to serve. Touched over the top of the double block. Enzing trying to save it. But nobody else could help him out as it dropped back down off the net. Brazil two points away. A set from Fernando, that eye looked fine. And so too the tip from Lucarelli. And now he can see the finish line in sight in this first set. will remain tight and tense, however. So drilled into the net, the USA another chance to tie here. Tori De Falco to serve. Four points already, one of them on serve. Brazil help it right back to the top of the net, drilled by Isaac Santos and unstoppable. With that kind of height and power, the serve reception was so good from Douglas. Could hardly have put it in a better position. The tip from Fernando. And 
Martin Izak there with the open goal of a hit. Set point Brazil. The USA need this point. A good chance for Tuaniga to set, but a wayward hit from Enzik. And Brazil bury the first blow in this heavyweight battle. They take the first set by three points. After the USA had had a few healthy leads heading into the second technical timeout, Brazil came out strong, had five points without reply, and wrestled momentum away from the Americans. USA 22, Brazil 25. Brazil coming from behind to take the first set in the first game of the tournament for these two, 22-25. You can see a couple more points off attack hits for the USA, but look at the points from opposition errors. Brazil with 10 of their 25 of errors of the USA, double the points off opposition errors that the Americans had. And uh, the vast majority of those you have to feel, or many of them came off the back of that second technical timeout where Brazil really came out swinging. Now they'll look to carry that momentum into the second set. Well supported here in Poland. The hosts of this pool, of course, are in action next on this court against Australia. Certainly plenty to enjoy in this venue. Three of the top four ranked teams in men's volleyball in the world are in this group. We're watching the top two, and they are ready to watch the reigning world champions who are ranked fourth in the FIVB rankings at the moment. The other team, Australia, ranked in 16th. Brazil, quite incredibly, have been ranked first in the world rankings ever since the introduction of the new ranking system way back in 2006. That's a measure of uh, their pedigree. The USA just behind them, and were just behind them in that first set as well. They started so positively, the Americans really looked to have the bit between their teeth. And Brazil went up to the next gear. from Wallace to lead the way for Brazil. Three for Lucarelli, three for Douglas. The Americans led by five apiece from Sander and Enzing, but Enzing lost his way towards the end of the first set. Jendrick to serve at the start of the second. And to serve straight into the net. Only one point was served was scored on serve rather from both teams combined in that first set in terms of uh, direct ace and that was the one that just caught the line. Oh a huge double block on the far side 
Stall getting his hands to it. Helped out by two and eager. They closed the gap so well here. Watertight. And no way through. An emphatic way for the USA to score in the second set for the first time. Stall with the challenge against Lucas at the net that time. Then there's a duel on the far side as well. Involving Enzing, who'll try and save it here, back over the net. The set right on top of the net for Brazil. And Wallace showing what he's all about. His sixth point of the game to lead all scorers. And that was as clinical as any other. Douglas to serve. Fernando set, and there he is again, the man of the moment, Wallace. Back to back points for the man who led this tournament in scoring last year. right against the block that wasn't able to penetrate at all Stahl's quick was hit and uh, that made it very difficult for the Brazilian blockers to get in position for the USA to get back level, although Brazil are going to challenge this call. They feel there was a touch along the way. It was well beyond the baseline, but was it touched by American fingertips? First challenge we've had here today for a block touch. Let's have a look. Very close, isn't it? Does it just catch that middle finger? No, it doesn't. It was the left hand of Ensing the closest to it. And it was a perfect call from the official. 3-3. Big kick from Wallace again. A hat-trick of points already in the second set. From Brazil's main marksman. He's got three of their four so far in set two. And that time beating the triple block. Hey. Is there a touch on that one? Again, same position, again, Brazil looking around for the right answers. They get the answer they want. A block touch called. On that hit from Lucarelli. That was close again. The point has been given Brazil's way. No challenge from the USA. And Falco gets them back in business. His fifth point. Front of the reach of Fernando. Pass Wallace at the net. One number eight beating another. Stall serve. Fernando set right on top of the net, off to an eager shoulder. They had to push it back over with that final touch, and it allows Brazil the chance to set. It allows Wallace to take control again. 
He is on fire here in set two. Tuanega didn't know too much about it. Sander did everything he could, so too De Falco. Well, that's back at them with interest. And past the Libero. Aiki in the backcourt. Jendrick. Getting the running set to isolate him one on one with Isaac at the net. Brazil have the edge though by two as that serve from Enzin goes straight into the net. The 13th point that Brazil have won from USA errors. Three already here in set two. Tuaniga got the tip. And then provides the set for DeFalco. Fernando to the far side, all the way to the back corner. And it found it from Douglas. So Brazil, this time with the lead, heading into the first technical timeout by three points. And how about the pinpoint precision of that hit? from Douglas Souza. John Spurrow talking there about the co cohesion of uh, his players playing in their first match. It's uh, a rejigged, reshuffled roster to a certain extent with a number of key players from last year's tournament not available here on the first weekend of this tournament. It is a chance to trial and error to a certain extent for the USA to find the right formula for the final six that they qualify for as hosts in Chicago in July. That was well orchestrated and well taken by Jeffrey Jendrick. Really good reception from Eric Shoji. Two and Eager had the set right on top of the net. Shoji, the seventh best receiver in last year's preliminary round. The USA not helping themselves on serve, though. DeFalco into the net. Now it's the turn for Brazil of the very lengthy Isaac Santos. Too long, though, from a man who was the seventh best server in last year's preliminary round, averaged 0.25 aces per set. Right down the centre with power from Luca Relli. Now, Brazil thought they'd won the point, but the officials have given it initially to the US. I think, in fact, that decision has been changed. So, Brazil back up by three. As uh, Lucarelli buries his fifth point. To an eager orchestrating the tandem attack. And Sander putting that one away. And 
Tuaniga will take this serve now as the Americans look to close the gap here. Two Brazilians down on the deck. The USA a chance to set here for Stahl. And he put it away beautifully. Finesse over firepower that time. And now a chance to try and tie level. Josh Tuaniga, one of a number of very talented 22-year-olds on this USA roster. A number of them playing their college volleyball in California. With a waterfall inside of the triple block that time for Brazil. The American block is not able to penetrate the net enough to squeeze on top of it. They allowed that gap between the block and the net. Brazil able to take full advantage of it. Just looked like a miss hit, and it was from Kyle Enzing. He's gone from hot to cold very quickly. Had five of the USA's first 15 points, if I remember rightly. He's not scored any of their last 14. As Brazil call a timeout, or the USA rather call a timeout, trailing by three. Just keep scrapping. Right now, we're not putting enough pressure on the service line yeah. and not defending enough even when we're putting it in, right? So yeah. just say, let's see if we can put a little bit more pressure on the service line, okay? Just defend a little bit better. A couple passes could be just a little bit better. Not like you're making good contact. Some of them are making that. Spurrow himself, the American head coach, won two college national championships as a middle blocker at UCLA. He's uh, currently head coach there as well, which I suppose explains a number of his picks for this roster. Players he knows well, young, talented players. in business is Enzing. His first point since the USA's 15th point of the first set. Sanders serve beyond the baseline. Those service errors continue to come for the Americans. Plenty of options, and one of them was the Falco. All of the attack hitters available that time for the USA to an eager bypassing a couple of teammates to find the Falco. going to be an ace. Brazil left it, they let it go. And Mitchell Stahl left to celebrate. Finally, some joy for the USA on their serve. Stahl down the center, right onto the baseline. Brazil tried to step to the side of it. Stahl again, this time they deal with it. The blocker's there, though, it's Enzing. He is very much back in business now. His seventh point, but his first on block. Only the second block point that the USA have won 
through the match so far. Only the third in the match for both teams combined. And always serves well to build momentum as they get back level. And Luca Relli shuts them down. What a way to slam the door in the face of that USA comeback. Brazil back ahead, but only just. Fernando's back set, Wallace well down the line. Did he find the line? Yes, he did. Double figures for last year's top scorer already. Caught the little finger on the left hand of DeFalco. Whether it found the line or not was irrelevant. Wallace is served. And returned quickly. Jendrick, the USA not letting Brazil get away. Five points now for Jeffrey Jendrick. Kyle Enzing to serve. And how about the hit from Isaac? Is eight centimeters tall, elevating a few feet more over the top of the net. The technical timeout sees Brazil lead by two. probably get a sense of the atmosphere that is building and building in this arena in Katowice and that is because the Polish fans are filing in in their droves now ready for the second match of the day on this court which will come in a couple of hours time I want to see the conclusion of this one probably arriving after finishing work and then it's Poland against Australia Certainly caught a tip off one of the Americans at the net. Brazil by three. Coach Marcelo Prokoviak happy. Really good stop in the backcourt. Quick reactions from Maiki. That helped Brazil build. And there's that tip off Jendrick. Timeout called here. Come on, it is, yeah, yeah, that's just a little bit more, so you have a little bit more room to cover, okay? Yeah. All right, sign out here. Let's go let's score go, real. Go, let's go, let's go. One, two, three. Let's keep going, Red. 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 USA using their final timeout. Trying to figure out the right route of recovery. Set in which they have spent the majority of behind. By much. Brazil have just been that little bit stronger ever since that second technical timeout of set one. Backcourt attack buried by Sander. He leads all American scorers now with seven. He dug it out superbly in the first place and elevated so quickly. Look at that. 
perfect defence leading to perfect offence. Brazil acts a right back with a big hit of their own. Douglas Souza. The line drive just inside of Enzing. They've moved on to the sideline. Brazil by three again. Oh, quick thinking. Clever thinking from two and eager. Disguised the set and scored the point himself. Almost an acceptance of the challenge from Brazil. OK, time for us to respond now. Oh, that's stopped fantastically well by Thales Haas. The USA come back and score, though. Brazil just delaying the inevitable that time. Look at this save from Thales Haas. They were short-handed from that point on, though, and the triple block from the Americans was superb. Mitchell Stahl at the centre of it to score. This really is a fantastic setting for this pool in the Nations League 2019. It's a new arena, 11,500 capacity. It will be shaking when the host Poland are in action next, but there's a long way to go in this one. A really significant stage of this match for the USA, though, now. And that's not what they wanted. Brazil by two. If Brazil go on and seal this second set, it is difficult to see an American comeback. Best of five sets, so it would leave the USA needing to win three straight. Blockers in position at the net, but not penetrating it enough. And ricochet favouring the Americans. To an eager serve to try and tie level. Fernando setting right on top of the net to Lucas. Brazil keeping the comeback at bay. for a captain serve from Taylor Sander to try and tie the US level. Oh, it's too long. And they can't take advantage of the misplaced Brazilian serve a few moments earlier. Brazil four points away from a two-set lead. Lucas Sackcamp, the captain to serve next. Down the line and in from Enzing. They found a gap on that sideline.
Lucas just made the move, stepping into the middle slightly, shifted his weight onto his right foot, and that was enough for Enzing to exploit the space. Problem on serve continues for the USA, though. It's been a theme of these opening two sets. Still making a change. Fernando's coming out, Allen's coming on. 25-year-old opposite Spiker. Blockers in position, three of them sewn together on the far side of the net for the USA. How about this? It took all three as well because it was the furthest part of that defensive wall to the right, the right hand of Enzing that got the vital touch. Fernando back in with a message from his coach. Here he is, tries the same quick thinking we saw from two and eager, didn't come off, but Brazil still get the point through Lucarelli. Now they're just two points away. It's a crucial serve here at the end of the second set. Ricardo Lucarelli. USA dig it out and set and score. Tori De Falco. The USA's second highest scorer. The number eight now has eight. Micah Mahar will come on to replace to an eager setter for a moment. The USA could do with him being the super sub to get them level. Powerful serve from DeFalco. Past the triple block, stopped in the backcourt though. And into the net. The USA just falling short, despite that tremendous piece of defense from Eric Shoji. Out comes Izak, and in comes Flavio for Brazil. Couple of set points for them. Twenty-two twenty-five was the score in the first set. Brazil looking to match that here in the second, and they do. And it just had to be him. Wallace de Souza with another to add to his tally as Brazil add to their lead. Two sets to love over the USA, 25-22, 25-22 again. The three-time and reigning Olympic champions led by the 12 points of Wallace.
Marcelo from Coviax, Brazil leading by two sets to love here over the USA. And the stats in that second set, very similar to the first set, errors costing the USA again. Despite uh, the USA having an extra point altogether off attack hits, they've only managed 10 points off errors of the Brazilians. Brazil have had 21 points, more than double of uh, errors of the Americans, and that continues to hurt the USA. And now they're left with little time to try to sort it out. Let's take a look at those stats. That is the set two stats, two more points off attack hits for the USA. A look at the opponent errors. Brazil with 10 points. The USA's five, many of those errors on serve. It's now a must win third set for the USA. Big performance so far from Brazil against a very talented American roster. Especially after a slightly sluggish start, the men in yellow. They recovered when it mattered the most towards the end of the first set that had seen them trail for the vast majority. And off the back of the second technical timeout, they turned things around and they haven't looked back since fine margin in the second set as well 25 22 the same score as the first set but you always felt in the second set that they were going to get the job done oh they get the entire job done in straight sets it's the challenge now here in set three as they get ready to serve with isaac santos has been superb for the USA today. That's his eighth point. All of them off attack hits. <laughs> to an eager serve long. So Brazil on the board here in set three. to serve for them. Places club volleyball for the Sada Cruzeiro side who had their run of five straight Brazilian titles ended this season. And Sander firing right to the baseline where it was stopped by Lucarelli. He reloads. A fantastic rally, this one finished off by the Brazilian captain, Lucas. And what a way to finish it as well, so emphatically, from the tallest player on the Brazilian roster. Great backcourt defence from Maiki, the 21-year-old Libero. Lucas put the exclamation mark on the rally. Brazil lead by three points to one, at least for now, because the USA perhaps thinking about challenging that court, and they are going to. You can see straight away the reaction of the American players was that they found absolutely that should have been their point. The challenge is for a block touch. USA need all the help they can get at the moment. They don't want to allow Brazil to build up 
a bit of a lead at the start of a set that they have to win. You get the sense if they can put their serve right in this third set, then the USA can get that little bit extra that they need to match Brazil, maybe surpass them, and take this match to a set four. It's a long wait to find out if they've won this point or not. It's a long wait for the Polish fans in this arena to see their team in action against Australia later, but what a way to whet the appetite with the top two men's nations in world volleyball. Going at it here to open the pool in Katowice. Certainly taking their time with this call. It must be close. The US players were adamant that it got a touch from a Brazilian defender. Those kind of reactions are usually so telling. They look like a natural reaction rather than a forced one. their evidence of that touch though on the video let's have a look and there was indeed a touch the USA were right to feel aggrieved 2-2 then Sander remains on serve. He keeps it alive in the backcourt as well. Helped over from an awkward position. Brazil able to set. Wallace. And down it comes inside of the block. It wasn't the best position for the hit from Wallace, but he still made it count. And it's 12 points for him now to lead all scorers in the match. He's off balance slightly. Still got it to stick. Ensign wasn't penetrating the net enough. Oh, right back over from Maiki. It should have allowed the USA to get on top of the rally, but they didn't take the opportunity. To an eager's back set, look how well Lucas read it to get in front of the hit from Enzing. Absolutely telegraphed that one, the Brazilian captain. Serve from Brazil straight into the net. Mitchell stall to serve for the US, the middle blocker. He's got two kill blocks already, five points off attack hits as well. And another off serve. Not that time though. And it was too hot to handle for Sander. Lucas really making his presence felt right now. Six points for the captain of Brazil, who's on serve. DeFalco will go again, the tip this time, stopped by two Brazilians. Third time lucky, perhaps, yes it is, for Tori DeFalco, who just kept on coming. Nine points for him now. The USA needed him to keep his concentration, to reload and to go again. And look at that, 113 kilometers per hour. Still had so much gas left in his tank.
There's the Achilles heel for the US, though. Enzing to serve into the net. Falco now now tied level with Enzing as the Americans top scorer on nine Sander just behind on eight Enzing stopped by the Brazilian block they shuffle into position on the far side but it's fired past the double block by De Falco double figures emphatically now for him Doing a good job of taking on that extra scoring responsibility. One of those California based players who's only 22 years of age, Tori DeFalco. He can't continue to build momentum as he finds his serve wide of the mark. Brazil giving the USA hope. Jendrick to serve now. Can he get this one right to delay the technical timeout? Well, they can set right on top of the net. Isaac somehow kept alive in the backcourt by DeFalco, doing it on defense as well. And there's a fault at the net. What a piece of defense from Tori De Falco. Just there, shifted his arms quickly to his left. The slow motion didn't really do it justice. But then the touch on the net to rub a bit of salt in the US wounds. started their Nations League campaign last year with five straight wins including a 3-2 win in their opener against Argentina their first defeat of the tournament though came against Brazil and it may well be a similar story here except that game against Brazil is coming right to the start of their campaign still got hope to cross court the slice from Sander got too much on it Brazil lead by three now in the third set not giving up Pope just yet there's a long way to go in this third set one captain drilling it against another and that reaction tells the whole story and there's a reason those two are captains they really do put everything on the line How about that? A point for the USA on their serve. And there's not been many of those. And they're back within one here. Here goes two and eager again.
Really good reception from Tyles. De Falco kept it alive, so too did Sander. Off the top of the block from Enzing. Wallace stopped by the triple block on the far side. They'll come to the near side now, drilled by Douglas. Past Enzing, what a hit from the number 14. A Douglas dagger to the American heart. Over the top of the triple block, you can see Brazilian players at the net shaking their fingers to say absolutely no touch from us. And that was the call from the officials as well. So Brazil off that wayward hit beyond the baseline, lead by three. Fernando retains his place on serve. Oh, what a way to stop the rot. A rifle of a right hand from De Falco. The USA needed something special and they got it from their young gun. Tori De Falco up to 12 points to lead the USA. And they're scrambling around. Three of them ended up down on the deck. Point by point, Brazil edging their way closer and closer. That time a miscommunication on defence from the US. Two players going for the same ball. Brazil give the USA a bit of a helping hand though. The gap close to two again. Really well left. Too far off. The man who ducked the USA, Mitchell Stahl, is now on serve. Against the double block from Lucarelli. Goes the other way this time. The block was trying to shift across and couldn't quick enough. Really good setting. For Brazil to go one way and then the other and shift the defence around. Very quickly. Down and in from Jeffrey Jendrick. The on-hand set from two and eager. Loading the ammunition. Jendrick pulled the trigger. Lucarelli. They save it really well. De Falco doing a good job. Enzing stopped in the backcourt by Brazil though. Lucarelli again across to the far side. Gets the point. Brazil just keeping the USA at bay again. Every set has been so tight and so tense. So hotly contested, but Brazil won each of the first two by three points. They're leading by three in this one. And there's a big block for them on the far side. Three players in position. It looks like Isaac got the final touch. Although it's come at a cost for Fernando, who was there as well. Brazil leading by four. But they may have lost a key player. Fernando, their leading setter. The linchpin of their team. Let's have a look. Fernando is to the right of that block. It's the way he lands. There was certainly no contact from the ball. It was just an awkward landing. May have jarred his knee. And there's uh, 
Some real concern being shown here by his teammates in particular. That would be a big, big blow for Brazil. It may well be the end of the line, at least today, for Fernando. 23-year-old setter. Thiago Pontes Veloso is the backup. It was a really awkward landing. Straight away he went for that right leg with a grimace of pain etched on his face. So Brazil forced to make the change. And there's Thiago, who now has the job of trying to see Brazil through. Back set from Tuaniga, finish from Enzik, who ends up under the net as he hits double figures. And the USA look to hit Brazil where it hurts. Tori De Falco serve. A good one too, dealt with by Lucarelli. Not too well though, he could only help it into the backcourt from there. And he set that to come from a long way back. He made the hit more difficult. And the USA with a couple of points. The rub salt in the wounds of the injury for Brazil's Fernando. They're not done just yet. to touch on that hit from Luca Rally. So Brazil up by four, coming back off the second technical timeout in this third set, leading by two sets to love. They won eight of their first nine matches at the Nations League last year, Brazil, but they lost seven of their last ten. A rare finish off the podium. here over the second ranked team in the world the USA would certainly give them a platform on which to build this year but this one is far from finished the USA certainly a little more optimistic now after that injury to Fernando and they've taken two of the last three points and they will take another one Tiago, the man who replaced Fernando with the fault at the net. Scrambling across to try and get there. Collides with the net. Tiago set. And the block to shut down Wallace. Brazil's top scorer stopped in his tracks. The USA within touching distance in a set they have to win. Wallace denied by Stahl. Douglas stopped as well. They'll go again here, Brazil. Tiago back to Douglas. Stop once more. Tipped over the top from Isaac. And the block is there for Brazil this time. Isaac stretching every centimeter of that two meters eight frame and getting the left hand on it. A huge point for Brazil because momentum was shifting away from Marcelo Francoviac's team.
and did that only put a little dent in the USA's momentum, I wonder, as Izak gives them serve straight back and gets them back within one. Too an eager to try and tie the Americans' level. And a miscue. The set from Tiago looked good enough. And it was Lucas who you would have really expected to put that one away. It's in danger of coming off the rails for Brazil since that injury. And they'll call a timeout here. shown his talent no doubt here one of two Brazilians to hit double figures 10 points for him only behind Wallace who's got 12 they need some of that firepower down the stretch of this third set otherwise the USA are taking it to a fourth and they get it right on cue Ricardo Lucarelli point number 11 for him to nudge Brazil back ahead. And the set to settle Thiago as well, who'd struggled a little since coming in. Brazil is struggling on serve now, more so than they were earlier on. Sander unloading on the baseline that time. Although Brazil escaping with the point. This third set is even tighter than the first two. Could be more tight now. Douglas Souza into the net. Say uh, catching Brazil up a bit in points from opposition errors. We saw it was so heavily weighted in favour of the Brazilians in the first two sets. Lucarelli able to get it to stick. It's so pivotal this point of the third set because. One way it could be a straight sets Brazil win, the other way if the USA extend the match they would have the wind in their sails. Brazil with their main setter injured. As De Falco adds to his impressive tally, 20-20. Would have bet against a US comeback if they were able to win this one. Falco has been superb today. That's his 13th point. The US making a change. Kyle Russell comes in. One of the biggest spike reaches in the US squad at 358 centimeters. Lucarelli again. And find it against the body of Russell to score. Luca Relli really coming up big in money time. 13 points for him now. Ahead of Wallace as Brazil's leading scorer and three of them coming in quick succession down the final stretch of this third set. Wallace with the big serve. Finished off by Isaac Santos. The big one-two punch combination for Brazil to knock the USA back against the ropes. 
the Americans will call a timeout. Coach John Spurrow needing to get a message across to his team. It's slipping away again. Great preparation for both sets of players for the extra pressure, the crunch that they will feel. In the final six, the USA we know will be there. Brazil, you would expect to be there as one of those top six teams from this preliminary round. Lucarelli off the top of the double block. USA a chance to set, backcourt attack, big time, one-on-one -on -one rejection from Isaac Santos. What a block from the man monster. It was a one-on-one -on -one attack for the US captain, Sander. And Isaac shifting his arm across to the left reading the direction of that spike and throwing it back in Sanders' face. And just when you thought the tide really was going to turn, Brazil have found a way to settle themselves again to give them great credit for that. They've come back off that injury for Fernando. They've weathered a bit of an American storm. Can't quite see the sunshine just yet. USA close the gap to two. Brazil just two points away, though. Tori De Falco. USA's top scorer today on serve. Oh, and what a serve as well, all the way back to the baseline. The USA with back-to-back -back points and back in touch, and how? Lucarelli got out the way. Might have been the best, best thing to do, given the power of DeFalco. This really is crunch time now, particularly for the USA, but as I say, for Brazil too, because if the US take this set, you could see them mounting a real comeback. Scored the last two points to close a three-point gap to one. Right at the end of a third set, they have to win. Lucarelli this time deals with it. And he'll strike it as well over the top of the triple block, but long. It got a touch on the way, though. A huge point for Brazil to give them two match points against the final six hosts, the USA. DeFalco digging it out so well. Whacked by Russell with power to the backcourt, the substitute keeping the USA in it. But what a great piece of defense from DeFalco beforehand. They are not out yet. The US flexing their muscle. No room for error though on the serve of Jeffrey Jendrick. 
Another match point for Brazil. The USA save the first, can they save the second? Douglas off the top of the block, kept alive, but not for too long. They've done it. Brazil get payback for last year's bronze medal match defeat to the USA, and they do it in straight sets. The perfect start for them on a journey that they hope will take them all the way to Chicago, where they may well meet the USA again. It was tough through three very close, hard-fought sets, but Brazil have got the job done. Winning each of them, 25-22, 25-22, 25-23, despite losing their setter, Fernando, to injury in that third set. This was the final point, the USA saving the first of Brazil's two match points. They couldn't save this one, though. Stahl up against the net, nobody there to help him out. And Brazil start with a win in the 2019 Volleyball Nations League. Their effort, their quality, Really appreciated by this Polish crowd. Twenty-three twenty-five in the third set. Equal on attack. Gets three more points on block though for Brazil. That wasn't there in the first two sets for them. So despite giving the US for the first time in the match more points off opponents' errors, they made up for it with their blocking ability. Let's have a look at the full match stats from the three sets combined. The US with one more point off attack kits. Blocks in the end was even at 5-5. The US actually doing better on serves, but had plenty of errors on serve as well as those four aces. And as you can see there at the bottom, 11 more points overall for Brazil from errors of the opponent. Now the main downfall for the US, particularly on serve in this one today.